Welcome back everybody. Uh, so we're making a bottle stopper here today. Uh, so we've got a large force knob bit here. Uh, we're just going to drill in a little bit so the bottle stopper actually sits flat with the uh, the piece of wood. And then we're going to go on to the next step which will be to uh, take a drill bit and uh, drill in so we can get it onto the mandrel. So the size of the drill bit we're going to be using right there is a 11 32nd which are used for dense woods and resins. If you're going to use the soft woods, um, it will be a 5 16th, or you can in actual fact get a threaded insert, which will use a 7 16th size drill bit. Okay, so now we're going to put it onto the mandrel. The mandrel does actually have a, uh, a built-in thread cutter in there, so you will actually see that a little bit later on in the video. Okay. So we're just going to get that tightened down onto the mandrel. Okay, then we're going to bring the uh, towel stock up for a little bit of support. Alright, now we're going to get to doing some turning. Remember, there's no rules or regulations about um, shape. Just have fun with it and uh, go with whatever feels right. All right, so we're going to start by getting it round, and in the meantime, I'm going to tell you about some of the other stuff that I'm involved with. So I do a show uh, every Saturday with Mr. Jake Thompson on Jake's YouTube channel called Saturday Morning Cartoons. That goes out at 10 a.m. Central Time. Uh, I will leave links in the description down below. Uh, I also do a uh, podcast which has just started. The first show will be on the 3rd of May called the Creative Makers Podcast. Hosted by myself, Joey Steelblade Woodworks, Matt Wackerly, Jen from Jen's Turns and Jake from Northside Custom Crafts. So once again I will leave links down in the description for that as well. Okay, we've finished doing the turn in there. Now we're going to do a bit of sanding. Okay, so the, I'm sanding here with uh, 240 grit. Um, I started doing the uh, the sanding at 120. Um, like I said, I just, we're on to the 240 now. I don't see the need to go any, any further when I'm using uh, the next step, which will be Yorkshire grit. Um, before we get to the uh, the Yorkshire grit, we'll obviously put some sanding sealer on there. There you go. The sanding sealer helps the uh, helps the Yorkshire grit break down and stops the mineral oil in the Yorkshire grit from um, soaking into the wood. And like I say, you can obviously there's links there that you can go and get some from. You get it from NorthSouthCustomCrafts.com if you're in the USA. There we go, so you just work the Yorkshire grit in until it comes off and uh, until it's all worked in and you've got a clean paper towel. I did do a dedicated video on this, so I'll leave links in the cards and in the uh, description if you would like to check that out. So once again, you, uh, you, you rub it all in until the, the paper towel comes off clean and you know Yorkshire grit has done its job. All right, final step for me is some uh, microcrystalline wax. And we're just going to get that buffed in. There we go. You start seeing the shine of the wood come out now. And there you go. Right. So now we're going to take it off the uh, take it off the lathe, and as you can see, we've got a can't just pull it off because, like I said earlier, it's uh, the mandrel's got its own thread cutter in there, so we have to take it off by spinning it or unthreading it. There you go. That's one of the many designs of uh, bottle openers or bottle stoppers, should I say, that Niles bottle stoppers do. I'll obviously leave links down in the description for them. Um, and there you go. We have a. A nice bowl stopper for you. Um, there will be some nice little pictures at the end. But yeah, thank you everybody for uh, watching this uh, short video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.